This is National Five Revision. What we're looking at here is we're looking at uh, we're looking at angles uh, in a circle, basically. And uh, what this should do is it should help you with your assessments that you may have in January or February. Right, let's have a look at this question here. We're going to do two questions, right? We're going to do two. This one here has some angles in the circle. Um, we've got a diameter, we've got a tangent. So we've got a couple of properties that we're going to have to consider when we answer this question. So let's see what we're asked to do. So in the diagram, MN is a tangent, okay? So MN is a tangent and PL, P to L, is the diameter of a circle. So I know about tangents in the diameter or a tangent in the radius. Well, they're going to meet um, at right angles. So that's a property that I'm probably going to be using here. So a tangent meets a circle when you draw a line from the, the tangent point of contact to the center of the circle or through to the, the, the diameter meets at 90 degrees. Angle G ln is 31 so that's this angle that's in here so g l n so that angle there is 31 degrees and angle k p l so k so starting at k going to p and then to l that angle there the way that's opened up that's uh, 62 degrees in there what we've got to do is to find the size of angle k l j so there we go, from there to there to there. So it's a double angle. So we're going to have to work out two angles here to be able to add them together and find the, the opening that's there, the KLJ angle that's there. Okay, right, let's get started here. And um, what we're going to do, first of all, is I'm going to use that property of the, uh, of the tangent. So I know that a tangent, which is MN, is going to meet... This line here, PL, which is the uh, diameter, and it's going to meet there at right angles. So if I think about this being a right angle from there to there, okay, I've already used up 31 degrees of this part of the angle. So to work out the part that appears in there, all I'm going to do is work out uh, 31 away from 90 is going to leave me with 59 degrees. So in there, that's 59 degrees, okay? So that's going to be from there, coming down from there to there. So that one there is 59 degrees, okay? Right, so that's the first part. So I've used the uh, the tangent to a circle uh, property, and that's at right angles. So these two guys added together, 90 degrees, right? So let's see what else we can do. I need to find out this angle that's here. So this one here. So that would be KL. P to allow me to get that full angle that I've been asked to do. So I'm going to use another property, and it's the it's a property of uh, angles in a semicircle. So if I've got the angle, um, a line coming from either side of the diameter and touching the circle anywhere on that circle, it always always meets at 90 degrees. So this point here, that angle there, 90 degrees. So P K L, 90 degrees, that's there, okay? So I'll just write a 90 in as well, so that we know that that's 90 degrees, okay? So if I work out that that's 90, that one there is 62. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using the angles in a triangle property. So angles in a triangle always add up to 180. So I'll add these two together first, okay? So, so what I've got is I've got 90, 90. I'm going to add on 62 to that. And what I'm going to end up with here is 152 degrees when I add these two together. Now, to find out this angle that's in here, this angle, this wee guy that's going to be there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 152, okay, away from 180, okay? And what I've got left will be the angle that's in there. So that's going to leave me with uh, 28 degrees, okay? So in here, this angle that's here, okay? 28 degrees, okay? Right, so remember what I've been asked to do. What I've been asked to do is to find out the angle K, so from K all the way down here and out to, from L and out to J. So it's going to be this angle here that I'm interested in from there all the way out to there, how far open that is. So I've got two angles here that I'm going to add together. So to get my answer to, uh, to the angle K, L, J. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add on 28 
plus the 59. And what I should get is my final answer. So 7 there, kind of 1, that's going to give me 87 degrees. Okay, so I'll just state it over here. So angle KLJ is equal to 87 degrees. That's that complete. Okay, so a bit of looking at properties in a, in a, a circle. So what we've got is the tangent. We've got the property of a angle in a semicircle. So even this one over here, the angle in the semicircle here, coming from both sides of the uh, of the diameter, that angle in there would be 90 degrees as well. Okay, but I didn't need that to calculate the, the what I was asked to do. Right, let's look at the next question. Okay, so the next one. Right, so what we've got here is um, RP. RP is a tangent to the circle, center zero. So there's the center zero, and there's RP. So that's a tangent touching at one point only, touches the circle there, and no more. So, okay. So, uh, again, I know the property around the tangent of a circle. So I know that uh, a tangent, so a tangent to a circle and the radius, they meet at 90 degrees. So that's going to be a 90 degree angle that's there, all the way across. Okay, what I've done is I've already used 27 of it, so I'd be able to calculate the angle that's in there. Okay, let's go back to the question. So um, we've got that point of contact at T. Angle P T Q is 27, so P to T to Q, so that angle there is 27 degrees, and I've got to calculate the size of angle O P T. So let's see where that's going to be. So O to P and to T. O, P, T. So that's that angle there that I'm actually interested in, the one that's sitting in there, how far that's opened up. Right, let's go ahead and uh, try to solve this one. So first thing that I know about the tangent, I've got the tangent there. I've used up 27 of it. That's 90 degrees. So what I should have left um, in there would be 27, add it up to um, 90 degrees. That's going to give me 63 that's going to be in there. Okay, so that's 63 degrees in that point there. Now, another property that I know is that uh, if I've got a radius from there to there, and the radius is opened up over to here as well, the, uh, the two angles at the bottom there, they should be exactly the same because that forms an isosceles triangle. Okay, so that's going to be 63 degrees in there as well. So that's me worked that one out there. Right, so that's two properties I've used so far. Um, there's two options that we've got here. I'll go with the first one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use, this is 90 degrees. I'm going to find that angle, and then I'm going to think about the big triangle that's here and work out what's left there, okay? So if I think about uh, that angle being 63 and that 63, so if I add the two of them together, 63 degrees plus 63 degrees, that should give me... 126 degrees okay if I want to find out the angle that's in here this one that's in there okay that's opened up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with 180 degrees and I'll take away 126 from that and that should give me the angle that's in there okay so the angle that's in there should be 54 degrees okay if I just subtract that so that's me got uh, a couple of angles that's in there already now what I'm going to consider is this triangle that's here, this one, to there. So I've got one big triangle. I know that angle's 54. I know this angle's 90. So 54 plus 90. Well, that's going to give me 144 degrees. And I know that for this angle in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with 180 degrees. I'll take away 144. And what I should be left with will be the angle that's in there. So that angle there should be 36 degrees. Okay, so if I just did that subtraction, that would be 36 degrees that would be, be in there. So I've answered the question because it's that angle there that I'm actually interested in. Okay, so angle. Which one are we looking at? We're OPT, so O, P to T, so O, P, T is equal to 36 degrees, okay? An alternative to that one, 
would have been to find out the angle that's here because I also know that the angle's in a straight line. So an angle in a straight line around about that point, well, that's going to be 180 degrees. So I'd be able to work out this angle here and use that angle with the 27, add them together, subtract them from 180, and also that would give me 36 degrees as well. Okay, so um, that's angles in shapes, as it's called here, but uh, it's generally angles in, uh, in the circle. And uh, we've got some properties that you need to remember as we go through this type of work here. Okay, just two questions there. Hopefully this has helped you out with your revision.